As mentioned previously, making time for yourself is the only real solution for any and all individual problems you may be experiencing that are resulting in marital problems. In fact, all other individual solutions are extensions of making time for yourself. There are numerous ways for you to make time for yourself, including taking up a hobby, taking a class or two, volunteering somewhere, and even exercising. However, the most important thing is that you actually make time for yourself. If you take up a hobby, but never take the time to practice or devote to it, then you are not helping yourself. Thus, the most important aspect of making time for yourself is actually making time for yourself. Oftentimes, people find making time for themselves incredibly difficult. In today's modern world, we are constantly bombarded with new and more stressful responsibilities and challenges. We are constantly on the move and constantly on call, and it seems impossible to find even a moment to oneself, let alone enough time to actually take a class or volunteer somewhere. Nevertheless, making time for yourself is the only way to not only save your marriage, but also your health and personal mental well-being. If you continue to run yourself ragged, you will end up exhausting yourself and your spouse both mentally and physically. Thus, make time for yourself. How? The easiest way for most busy individuals is to take baby steps. Take 30 minutes every other day or every few days to read a bit of a fun and entertaining book. Or perhaps allow yourself 30 minutes to meditate if you are so inclined. Basically, give yourself 30 minutes to do whatever you want. Alone. Sounds easy enough, right? However, most busy individuals will usually schedule their 30-minute break a few days from now and either forget completely about the date when the day and time comes or have something too urgent to do instead. To overcome this obstacle, physically schedule your 30-minute break. Put it in your calendar on your PDA, your email program, or whatever other technology you may use to schedule your life and set a reminder on it to remind you 10 minutes beforehand. If you are an on-call person, try to send out an email to everyone that may contact you to let them know that you will be out of reach for 30 minutes. And then, when the time comes, disconnect yourself. Turn off your phone, your computer monitor, and shut your door to the outside world. It is just 30 minutes. I promise you can do it. Once you have learned the trophy of these 30-minute breaks, you will find yourself scheduling them more often and then extending the time you spend in them. Before you know it, you will be taking yourself on many vacations without a care in the world.